Hi everybody, we're at the end of week one here and uh, please keep up the great work. Now please watch this video all the way through. We've got to remember that we don't have a classroom. It's so important that you watch these uh, instructional videos and, and read my emails um, because it's just so important to your success in the class to really understand um, what you got to do and what your options are, right? So... Uh, let's go through this. First of all, I've improved the instructions for how to turn in your written work. So everything, the video notes, textbook homework uh, for chapter zero needs to be turned in after you've done the chapter zero quiz. So, so if you go to the how to turn in your written work, I've actually made a new video. If you're still confused on how to do it, please watch the video. Um, so uh, and then for your written work for chapter one you turn that in when you take the chapter one test um, so basically you, you, you take pictures of scans of all your video notes textbook homework and review you've done for chapter zero save that onto your device merge everything in, into a pdf pdf doc, combined pdf.com is probably the easiest way um, and then you go to this assignment af afterwards and that assign uh, so after the chapter zero quiz um, there will be an assignment where you turn in all of your video notes and textbook homework for chapter 0. So that shows up here. So after the chapter 0 quiz, written work for chapter 0, everything gets turned in then. So don't send me anything through email or anything like that. You turn it in here into this assignment, right? Uh, similarly, for chapter 1, do all the video notes and textbook homework on paper for chapter 1. Uh, and then after the chapter one test, there will be an assignment that comes afterwards to turn in all of your work for chapter one and similarly for chapters two and three. But don't email me anything. It gets turned in um, here um, so I can have just one place where I can see it all and uh, give you points for it. Right. Um, so. So that's turned in your work. Um, um, due on Monday and by the way if you go to canvas calendar which is here go to canvas calendar you'll see this and it'll just give you mostly the quizzes that are due so it's not going to say you got to do video notes and textbook homework, but you guys know that right so um, 1.1 is due on Monday we've got to all be on 1.1 on Monday or ahead you're totally welcome to go ahead of schedule if you want go as far ahead of schedule as if as you like um, so 1.1 is due on Monday um, and a lot of students are busy this quarter so if you want to skip some of the textbook homework you're welcome to okay so basically what I'm saying is skip some of the textbook homework to stay on schedule um, so all video notes and uh, quizzes be, will be required but you can skip some of the textbook homework what does that mean I'll show you what that means right now so let's say you're on um, 1.2 okay so around 1.2 a by the way 1.2 a 1.2 B doesn't mean anything it just means 1.2 I've just called them 1.2 a and B to break the work up into two different days that's the only reason I did that um, so if you're on 1.2 you click the video write down the examples then click on the next video write down the examples click on the next video write down the examples keep going click on the quiz take the quiz you're done Yes, when you take the quiz, there's going to be some textbook homework questions. Those are the ones you're supposed to do, like question two, question four, uh, question eight, question ten, and so on down until question 82. So just do whatever's on the quiz, and that's all you're required to do. If you want to do more than that, it'll be extra credit. So um, when you turn in your written work, I will say, hey, did you do... Um, all the textbook homework or or just what was on the quizzes or some of it and then you'll I'll also look through your work and give you extra credit for anything you did more than what was on the quiz so whatever textbook homework is listed on the quiz that's what's required as lo along with the video examples right but you know basically like the odd numbers and stuff that's all extra credit for this quarter because we got some students are quite busy with the shutdown all right so um what else we got um there's a cares act from the federal government over half a million dollars money sitting right there um if you need financial assistance absolutely please click there please apply okay please apply um and you'd be surprised of what 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 they could um pay for 
Um, and of course, there's all sorts of restrictions too, so you may not you may not qualify. But it, it is definitely worth your time. That if you're in uh, need of, and this is this is not a loan. This is free money. If you're in need of financial assistance, it's definitely worth your time. Spend an hour, half an hour, get on here and and apply. All right. Um, today's the last day to drop to get a full refund. Friday, April twenty fourth. You can send an email to enrollment at ghc.edu or you can uh, talk to the Welcome Center or give them a call, right? Um, let's see. And that's what I've got. So, so important to stay on schedule. Please do your best to catch up. We need everybody on 1.1 by Monday, at least, if not ahead of there. And please call or email me anytime for help and keep up the great work.